Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're in the, what I'm going to call Lyurnia Swamps. I don't know if that's actually what they're called, but that's my best guess. And I want to find that tarnish that has a piece of jewelry that we need to get back for someone. I think they might be there. That's my best guess, that that's a house. And that they would be in that house. But um, before that, let's check out these little bits of land just behind us. They stand out on the map, which makes me think there might be something special about them, but we'll see. They're not as dramatic once you're actually here. They look more dramatic on the map. Like, there's supposed to be a big one here. Oh, there's an item. And an ambush. Oh, whoa, there's a big one. Nope, nope, nope. No, don't kill me, please. It's actually quite hard to take on in melee. There we go. So what were you all using as bait? A glass shard. <laughs> okay. I guess it just needed to be shiny.
Hey, turt. Dog. Dog. That is indeed a dog. Ooh, tarnished golden sunflowers. Oh, those only grow near a uh, minor minor herd trees. I thought that meant like right next to the herd trees, like where we found the other ones, but I guess not. I guess this is near enough. Okay, well, that's those little things explored. I'm also curious about these little bread twists. And then we will go to that building, I swear. Oh, right. These runes. Don't want to go in there. Don't want to spawn the thing again. There's something significant over there. It's funny, on the ground these don't look like anything, but on the map they look like nice little twists. Oh, I see a bear up there. Keep accidentally casting Starlight. I should get rid of it. How good is Whisking? That's decent. Not sure if it really saves on FP, though. Let's just do normal attacks. Oh, I broke its poise. Praise the weak foe. Oh, is there nothing? Oh, there is something. Yes. Smithing stones. Cool. Three level two smithing stones. That's pretty good. So how about that bear? No, that's, that's up on this finger of land. That's getting too far, of course. Let's go to the Academy Gate Town. Bonfire. Yes, I know it's not a bonfire. I'm just going to call it a bonfire. And let's check out that house. Or what I think might be a house. Actually, looking at it now, that is definitely not a house at all. It's a piece of rubble. Ooh, what a sniper. Ah, that will kill me in two hits.
Will you leave me alone, or do I have to take you out? They're leaving me alone. A little band of those dog creatures, the ones that ambushed me. Oh, what's up there? There's a very interesting looking person? Enemy? It's on... Is it... I can't tell if it's that or that. Ah, oh, it looks like it's the first one. Yeah, it's the first one. Let's go check it out. Hello. You're new. Well, look at them. Look at these squishy faces. Oh. That's a new type of enemy. They have the skin of a dolphin. At least on the front of their face, anyway. sunflower. Four of them. Praise the earth tree. I can barely see it in the distance. Okay, what could be a house? Well... A house just up the way is what they said about where that tarnished is. It does look like there's something up there. That could be a house. It also could just be somewhere in here in the Academy Gate town. It's very possible. Yeah, I guess I want to check out like every little piece of rock. Pretty much. Let's go to number two over here. It'd be very easy to miss stuff in the swamp, just because it's so foggy. It's really hard to tell where you've been, where you haven't. Or very easy to miss important things, unless they appear on the map. Because visually, it's hard to navigate this place. And it's hard to see things far away. Oh, more of those, like, fish people. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Whoa! Those are some interesting moves. Oh, and look at their weapons and shields, too. All of that's, like, whole new... whole new stuff. <laughs> look at them, I love them! They're so acrobatic. Why is it always enemy? I would prefer to just talk to them. They 
Dexterity, not crystal tear. Oops, didn't mean to drink. Temporarily boosts dexterity in mixed physic. Still don't know what the physic thing is about. Okay, let's explore it. Let's head over to number one. Wait, have I been there? No, I haven't. Oh, I should check out every one of these. Every one of these is one of these little... I don't even know what they are. Shrines, I guess? Prawn ahead, therefore try mimicry. Oh, can I just go in as a box? Because I remember we have um this. What am I going to be today? A box! Can I grab items while I'm a box? Oh no. Praise the stealth. Can I just be stealthy? Do I have to mimic or can I just do this? I, yeah, I think this is fine. No, don't get distracted by that. I'll put a pin on it, but... No, I'm gonna get distracted by it. Let's go. I don't care if they wake up. I'll be a mile away before they stand up. Oh, there's a side of grace here. Whoa. This is so pretty. Dog? Could this be a boss? Kind of feels like it. What's it called? I want to see the name. Folly on the Lake. Huh. This might be a pathway that leads up. Up there. Yeah. Feels like it is. So I'm not going here just yet. Okay, off to number one. Hey, little crab. What are those? They're enemies, or selectable as an enemy anyway. Flowers. Are these the same ones we've seen before? Or are these different? I think they're the same ones. Just go around them? happened here? Whoa. Oh my god. You're cool. Oh, you're really cool. Oh, you're so cool. Oh! 
They know the art of bleeding just like me. Oh, their sword looks so cool. Let's try to melee you. All right, blocking their attacks does not make the blood loss. Um, it doesn't seem to lessen the blood loss at all, so I need to be very careful about bleeding. And I haven't been able to break their poise, so... I don't think I'm going to be able to before they just die. Look at that throwing dagger that's in me, I guess. It's a big throwing dagger. Oh, they didn't drop anything. It's a shame. That's such a cool enemy. Oh, did they... They kind of spotted me, but then they stopped. This one looks different from the rest. It's bigger. Is it like a caster? Is that like a staff it's carrying? Okay, it'd be silly to die now. It's definitely not a staff. That is a club. Strong foe ahead. Be wary of blood loss, yeah. Rose Church. Ew. Bleedy. I don't believe it. Still no item. <gasps> More recipes. Enemy ahead. Oh, that's meant to be from the other side. I think I hear a beetle nearby. Oh, that's just for... to get your flasks back. Uh, okay. What new things can we make? This, I think, is new. Cursed Blood Pot. <laughs> Throw to douse enemy with a cursed blood. Oh, damn. Oh, that takes beast blood and blood roses, but the beast blood in particular is very rare. I've only gotten the one that I got from that castle, that, like, lion thing. Did I learn anything else? Nothing obvious to me. So that's where we spoke with the person who wanted us to get the jewelry. Let's go back to the Academy Gate Town and explore the town itself. That feels most likely to have an actual house. Okay, well it does have houses, but they're kind of underwater. <laughs> Such a cool place, so interesting looking. Love their acrobatics. Uh, 
Time for Strange Sort. Whoa, what is that? Is that a balloon? It's... I think it's like a hot air balloon. I see a flame in there and it looks like attached to the bottom are those weird soldiers we fought in the runes a while ago. The ones that are like, um... Almost like dolls? The like doll soldiers? The weird cages around them? That's exactly what it is. I wonder where these, like, inventions... These are inventions. I wonder where they come from. Who produces them? <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. God, look at those arrows. Amazing. Visions of Fortnite? Why is it always group? Try range battle. I don't know if they're pointing up like you could get here without them falling down. Or do they mean that I can like Wait, does that mean I can, like, pop the balloon? Is that a thing? Um... Oh my god! <gasps> yeah, it's a level 6 golden rune. That's gotta be worth a lot. Oh, that is so cool! Thank you so much for the range battle thing. I thought it was a nonsensical comment at first, and then I realized, no. Hey, don't mean to bother you. Ah, sorry. Where does this go to? Ah, oh, just up to the second finger. Hey, that is not the same attack as the other flowers. Oh, that's so pretty, though. Yeah, this is like the glintstone area. Everything's glintstone. And they even shoot glintstone. Oh, yeah, about flowers. I want to make sure I'm far enough away from these. Wow, they go far. Okay, they... Yeah, we're safe. Um, about flowers, my husband wanted me to try um, fire. So let's, uh, I can't do this on horseback, but I'm going to breathe fire on them with my secondary weapon. Uh, what did I just do? That is not what I meant to do. Wow, that's actually not terribly effective. You really think it would be better against a flower? 85, yeah, so 85 per hit compared to 81 per hit. Nah, I might as well just whisk it. Oh, I missed the timing on that. I really want to see what that looks like. Come on, break your poise again.
Do I have any more poison boluses? I do not. Please tell me I can craft them. Yes. Just one more. I can only craft one. Oh no. I gotta be careful. Poison Bloom, Crack Crystal, Miranda Powder. I don't think I want to fight anymore. This takes so many resources. Oh, hey! Is that a traitor? Or just a little... Nah, just a camp of enemies. Did you really have to throw that nasty goo on me? It means I can't use any potions. Increases item discovery. Don't blow it! Don't blow it! I mean, I don't think it's gonna call anyone, but... I don't know. I just didn't want them to blow it. It's annoying. Let's see how this looks. Foot soldier helmet. Not for me. I'm just wondering if there's any buildings we can go inside of here at all. Are any not completely underwater? Craftsman's cookbook. I get so excited about the cookbooks, even though I rarely actually cook anything. <laughs> um, I think the magic pot and the roped magic pot are new. Made with ropes and glintstone fireflies. Uses FP, throw behind. Oh, well, this one is throw behind. This one is just throw to inflict magic damage. Nice. Behold, treasure chest. Ripple Crescent Halberd. Weapon wielded by young Albanarix. Is that what they are? Albanarix? This blade is said to resemble a partial image of a ripple and its attack power scales with one's arcane attribute. Need. Yeah, it requires 20 arcane. I think it's the first arcane-based weapon we've seen. Hello. No, 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 it was a bad idea. Oh, I left 15,000 souls there. Oh. oh, I see you up there. Um, can I select you, please? I can't select it. All right, let's take care of these first. Still can't select it, so I guess I just need to be really good at aiming. I 
can't aim up any more than that. I could just equip a bow, but nah. Yeah! I should war charge forth. That was such a cool trick shot. I did see when I respawned at the stake of Marika that there is kind of a main passageway or like a main stairway that goes forwards and up to that um, side of grace that we've already been to. Let's follow that to the side of grace. See if there's anything along the way. Oh, shit. Ah! Nope. Nope. Wrong everything. Wary of fire. Ah, good point. Ray Lucarian Helm. That is so satisfying. God, what a view. Behold, clear sky. Wary of head, then try stealth. Oh, yeah, the giant head over there, right. Oh, yeah, you can't backstab them when they're on these things.
Lord Sworn Straight Sword. Oh, Brass Shield. That looks beautiful. Take a look at the sword. Strength and Dex D. Yeah, very modest requirements. 10 Strength, 10 Dex. A little bit raised at critical. Well-crafted straight sword with an illustrious design wielded by regulars of a lord's army. Though blackened and damaged by years of use, it appears to have otherwise been kept in a serviceable condition, despite the soldiers having long since lost their minds. And then the brass shield requires 16 strength. 100% uh, physical damage negation. On the larger side for a medium-sized shield, the face has been covered in brass, commonly employed in the shattering. What's the shattering? Anyway, yeah, how does that compare? Uh, oh, it has much better guard boost. From 47 to 56. And the protection against um, elemental things is, across the board, decently better. Not amazing, but significantly better. What is my strength? I have 13 strength. Hmm. Would it be worth getting three more strength just to use a shield like this? I don't think it really would. I bet it's really pretty though. It is gorgeous. This is quite pretty as well. That is the right one, right? Yeah, that is. Oh, there's somebody piloting the thing. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, whoa. That thing's got moves. Oh, no. It spins. Oh, it spins. Let's work from here backwards. I really don't want to lose my 17,000 souls. Let's play it super safe. Do a backstab on them? Ah, oh, yes! Oh, that didn't do that much. Oh, there we go. Fire Blossom. Three of them. That's new. Crafting item. A half ashen and smoldering flower that blooms on the mountaintops of the giants. Fertilized by the sparks from the forge at the peak where 
where burns the flame of ruin. And now we're pretty much where we were before. Enemy ahead. Shield ahead. Oh. wooden shield. Ooh, this thing's bad. <laughs> uh, it's a small shield. But yeah, it's worse at everything except weight. Small wooden round shield that has been reinforced with metal. It's light and easy to handle, but cannot offer the damage negation of a true metal shield. The design is said to represent the stars of the night sky, portending fate. What does this message say in front of this door? Door, but dead end. Seek projectile weapon door ahead. Seek comfort, seek wolf. Hmm? There's nothing actually going on with this door, right? No. Hey, friend ahead. Listen carefully, likely down, likely, likely bug. Oh, that's the bug that I already got. But yeah, are you a different finger reader or are you the same one and you've just moved? Because I got some fingers that need reading. Behold, crab. Indeed. Oh, is there anything up there on the roofs? I'm going to try that in a second. Oh, yeah, there's an item up there. Yeah, 
Oh, there's nothing up here. Oh my god, how did you get up there on the roof? Talented. Let's get more int. And that, I think, is a pretty good place to end this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, well, <laughs> the swamp is huge. We're going to explore more around the swamp. <laughs>